Arizona's top elected education official under fire for his anonymous and offensive blog post. Today, John Hoopenthal offered a public apology before struggling to keep it together. All right, guys, we're going to cut it off. Educators, former superintendents, and political man. opponents are calling for his resignation. School Who can tell officials, harshest comments compared the, the poor to lazy pigs so we, and the founder so of Planned Parenthood to Hitler. And on your sides, Justin Shecker live in the newsroom for us tonight with more on the superintendent's apology. Yeah. Justin? Yeah. A guy, Maggie, and emotional John Hoopenthal repeatedly renounced and repudiated his harsh comments during the press conference earlier today. But even as public pressure grows, he refuses to resign from the state's top education post. I'm here today to apologize for my blog comments. After a public apology for his anonymous blog post, the superintendent of Arizona schools, John Hoopenthal, abruptly ended the press conference in Phoenix, wiping away tears and walking away from the podium. They are not what is in my mind. They don't reflect the love that is in my heart. And they especially don't reflect the actions of myself and especially my employees in this agency. Hoopenthal admitted last week he's the author using aliases such as Thucydides and Falcon 9. Since then, he's been under fire for offensive posts about the poor. Like this one, quote, Obama is rewarding the lazy pigs with food stamps. Critics are calling some of the comments racist. A recently discovered post says, quote, no Spanish radio stations, no Spanish billboards, no Spanish TV stations, no Spanish newspaper. This is America speak English. Tucson education blogger David Safier questions Hoopenthal's ethics for often writing about himself in third person. And that's not mere anonymity. That's truly deception. But despite the backlash, Hoopenthal says he won't back down. The way that I was brought up is when you say something that's hurtful, you apologize for it, you understand why it was hurtful, and then you, then you move forward in service. In another post, Hoopenthal called TUSD's Mexican-American Studies program, quote, we hate whitey. This is a re-election year for Hoopenthal, and he says he has no plans of dropping out of the Republican primary in August. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Justin Shecker, KGA 9 on your side. All right.